Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you might have already seen the title of this video that today we are going to complete my incomplete mean stack odd series, which I have started way long. All right, so let me show you that what I am talking about. So if you go over here that we have already created this book my book kind of application and uh, let me tell you what kind of feature this application has that we have already seen that how can we do login? How can we create a new account? How can we do a forget password? And we can send an email also via, via Gmail SMTP server and also we can do the reset password okay so if you want to see the quick demo then what you can do right you can just go on my playlist means stack out series and you can search for this demo video which is what i'm showing here right now okay so then you will be able to get a fair idea that like what we are going to create in this video or if you're watching this video for the first time then what you can do right you can just go and check out this playlist and you just need to view all these 13 videos and once you are done till here then you might be able to have something similar what i'm actually showcasing so most of you must be thinking that why i am coming up with this video this is because i have promised one of my subscriber that before dropping any new video on my youtube channel that i will be completing this series first and then only I will put up any new video all right so let's go ahead and create the api endpoint where we can put all the books okay in the database so i'm using here mongodb where i have this url which is pointing to my local okay and the db name is oddb all right so now what i will do right first of all i have to create the models for my book.js so let me create that model over here so this will be my book.js file Okay. Now how my model will look like it is completely dependent on what I want to save in the DB. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you that for saving the DB, I will be making use of a JSON file, what I have here already. And this guy has a list of 20 books over here and I will be feeding this data inside my database. So based on this model name, what I have in the JSON, I will be creating my book.js model over here. So creating a model is something similar. What I have already did over here for role users and user tokens. So I will be using something similar here okay so i have imported this from mongoose and this will be changed to book schema and uh, this will be changing again based on what i have in the json okay but let me change the name over here so this will change to book and we have to replace this role schema with this book schema okay so now over here i will have that big object and over here i will create all the model names whatever i have here in the json file okay so i will have a title i will have this isbn 13 number so let me also put that over here okay and we can specify the type which is type string okay that's it now something similar so let me get all those what is required so next thing up, I have this price, image and URL. Okay. And let me just check here. So yes, I have all this five property inside this model. And I can say that my model is also ready now. Okay. So as I have told you that I will be inserting this data whenever I start my application so that I don't have to do this uh, manually one by one. Okay. So I don't have this, that much time. So what we'll do, we will directly feed this data inside the MongoDB. So to feed this data, right? So there is a technical term what they always use that seeding of a data. So, so we have to create a seed file. So what I'll do, right? I'll create a file here in the root folder of this API and the file name will be seed.js. Okay. So in the seed file, right? First of all, I have to import my JSON so i'll say import the book from so the path of that book is dot slash bookstore.json so as you are using module way of doing it so we have to specify the assert okay so assert of type json so we have to specify that we are importing a json file all right so now over here i will create a function export const this is my seed data okay seed data seed books data Okay. And inside, let's make this as an async function. Okay. And over here, right. I will be creating my logic to seed the data. Okay. So this is not required. See, AI is not always correct. So I will have to specify some data over here. So first of all, I have to do the connection. Okay. I have to do the connection with the DB. Okay. So once the connection is done, then I have to write the query where I'm actually sending all of this to the data. So what I will use, right. I will make use of the model. So let me first uh, write the query to send it to the db so what i'll do i'll make use of this await and i hope i made this async okay so await you will have to import your book okay so this is not correct so let me make this as a book json okay so that we don't have any confusion when i will be adding it okay now i will have to import the book the book model basically so let me import the model though this has to be book.js always remember and now i will say that book dot 
delete many why i'm saying delete many because if there is any existing data so i'll have to delete that first and then i will say await book dot insert money and in this i'll just pass in the book json what i got the moment i do this right i'll just do a console dot log so that we can say data imported successfully okay or you can say data seeded okay successfully all right and once that is done right so you can uh, disconnect your connection okay so you can disconnect okay disconnect from the connection something like that we have to do. okay so what you can do just for the safety what you can do you can uh, wrap this inside a try and catch so that if anything fails in so you can uh, also let know in the console that something went wrong while doing this okay so what i will be doing right now so i have this uh, function created so what i can do right i can go inside this index.js file where i'm actually doing the db connection over here okay where i have connected to the database so the moment i'm connected to the database right i will be calling the seed date books data over here okay and make sure that this is awaited because this is an async function okay so this will call the seed books data if you want to be like a little bit more specified that whenever you are running your application and at that point of time you have to seed so what you can do right you can just specify a if condition over here and what this if will do right this will just check for the argument so i can just say that process dot arc v okay so arc v is what right this will check for your argument if your argument includes hyphen hyphen seed before running the project then it will run this seed book data okay and let me just save these changes okay and let me show you what i really mean by this so let's go in your api and make sure that you are in the api folder and now what i will do right i will make use of node index dot js my file and i will specify that i want to seed so that's why i said hyphen hyphen seed and that's what it takes process dot argv and it includes hyphen hyphen seed which means this block of code will run okay and now moment i hit enter right let's see what happens okay so moment i hit enter it fails it says that seed data is not existing because i think i have missed something over here okay yeah this guy is not existing so let me remove that let me save the changes and let me try to hit the command again okay uh, it because i have just imported some wrong module that's what a uh, wrong data there so this has to be seed.js okay now let's do the same thing and now if i do that node index.js so now it's complaining that hey you don't have the seed data maybe i have trying something before and that's still existing over here yes it is let me remove this guy okay but one thing you can see right uh, on the top that the data seeded successfully on the top it came okay uh, just ignore that error what it was coming but can you see on the top my data was seeded successfully and it failed on this line which was not existing so you can just ignore that for now so for you guys you won't fail any errors because i was just doing my test of my data and the moment i did that right uh, now i can go inside my mongodb and let's see if i have any db created over here so let me refresh my database and the moment i did that right i see a books okay i see a books collection and here i can see that i can see all my books get stored over here and all of them got created with a unique id as well okay as an object id so that's how you are able to seed a data inside a MongoDB. And suppose if you want to run your application, so you can do that by saying node index.js and this will run without any problem. Can you see it is connected to DB? But as you know that we are using Nodemon, so I have a NPM script which is NPM start and I will run my app like that so that any changes I do, it will be reflected here as well. So as you can see that I have all the list of data here. So now what I need to do, right? So now I have to create a API endpoint so that I can fetch that all the books so that I can show them in the UI. So let's create the API endpoint for that. But before that, let's create a route. So for the route, I will say book.js. Okay. And I will copy something similar what I have here. Okay. So let's copy paste thing so that we can save some time. So we don't need this import of the controller over here. So now we have a router. So I will have to say router.get okay router.get okay so request response and all that so we don't need this so let me remove it and here i have to import my controller basically i have to import my controller so that's what i'm not doing here that's why i hate sometimes using github copilot i know it gives you unnecessary things okay now let me go over here in the controller let me create the controller which is my book dot uh, controller controller dot js okay and over here i will create export const okay this will be get books all right and this is my asynchronous function which will have a request and response all right and this guy did something magic for me the github copilot thing so let me import few things over here which you don't know so let me import that import 
book from book models okay the models what i have created now i have to change the return type the way we are trying to return it right so if you remember in the users this is how we try to return it right so we have something called create success and create error correct so whenever there is a success i will say create success return the create success and if there is any error i can take this guy which is create error all right now I have to replace it. So let me just go here. If everything goes well, please return my books. And this will say all books fetched. Something like that. You can give that. And I can remove this guy. Uh, something similar. I can do it for this one as well. So let me remove this. And if there is anything wrong, this will say internal server error. All right. But now I have to import those two things. So let me go ahead and put up this import just on the top so that it will not complain anything to me. Okay. So that's what I can say. My API endpoint is ready for fetching the get books. Now I have to use it inside my routes. So go inside your route. So over here, right, you just have to use this as your callback okay so basically whenever you say right this is nothing but your handler of your get okay so what you do right so you have your route and then you have a request handler so this is what your handler is your handler will handle the control this particular bunch of code which is book.controller.js which has the get books logic okay so this is how your route will look like but if you remember right first we try to configure it in the index way so let's go in the index dot js file and over here right i have my one more extra route and the route name is app oh uh, sorry api slash books okay or i can say book for now and i have to import the book route so let me just go here below and this will change to book route okay and the path will also change from routes slash okay this will be slash book.js all right and let's use this over here so that we are not doing any duplicate things and now if i go inside this book route right okay it's not going because i think we have missed something so let's go inside the book.js route okay the problem is right we don't have the export so we have to say export default and the router we have to export it here okay so now let's save the changes and everything is green now and now we don't need this. Why we don't need this? Because whenever the API will come to API slash book, it will go to this book route. And now if I go to definition, so it will come over here and it will check for a slash. So API slash book slash, it will handle this particular request handler. Okay. Now it's time for us to do the testing. So let's go in the postman and I have this route localhost 8080 API slash book and I click on send. Okay. So the moment I send, I think there is something is failing. So let's see what is the issue. So now the problem is that the return is failing in the controller. So let's go in the controller and see why is that problem. Okay. I have figured out the problem because we are using the next, right? The next, which is nothing but uh, route to the next middleware. Okay. So something like that. So if you put up this next, right? So now this can access this particular next. All right. And now you can save the changes again. Okay. Everything again, green and let's go here and hit the endpoint. The moment you hit the endpoint, you can see your success response. All book is fetched and you can see your list of book. All right. So that's it from this today's video where we have seen that how we can seed a data into a mongodb from a json file and also we saw how we can also create the api endpoint for that particular data so that we can use them in our angular project so in the next part we will see the usage of this api endpoint to fetch them like to create a service in angular to use that service in the home component and display all the list of books inside the home page so if you have loved this today's video then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel make sure to hit that a bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video all right guys so see you guys in the next video till that time keep learning and keep sharing Bye bye